All right, we're setting up the Lenovo ThinkSmart uh, smart display for Microsoft Teams. And uh, as soon as it uh, starts up you, and you go through getting the, um, getting the language correct, getting the um, Wi-Fi connected and your Bluetooth device, the next thing it lets you do is log in to your um, to your Microsoft Teams account. So we'll go ahead and do that. And so I went ahead and uh, signed in to uh, typed in my password, username and password, and it's going ahead and registering the device. Um, and it might take a little bit adding your device to the company portal. Maybe I'll just pause while it does a few other things. So I'm trying to think how long this will take. Usually I don't think it takes that long. All right, yeah, it didn't take just but a couple more seconds. And so now this is a first login experience. Got it. And uh, there it is. And that's my history from some calls I did on another device. So uh, maybe what we'll do, I mean, this looks very much like the IP phone software from uh, all the other IP phones is what I'm noticing. Um, ability to switch between orgs. Um, that's right, they have some hot desking information, uh, hot desking capability. Uh, we can change our presence there, of course. Pretty typical. Okay, so it disappeared there when I did that. Nope, oh, just went up there. So how about we reset that? Uh, maybe we'll just look at the hardware. So, of course, the speakerphone, uh, video is built in the hardware at least. And we have what I'm assuming is the, the volume at the top here. Uh, and, yep, we have the volume button. And it looks like a microphone, a microphone mute, unmute there, if I'm seeing that right. And on the side here, we have a hard video um, privacy screen. So let's put that thing down there again. And then the power cord, which I thought that was the speaker, the way the hole looked, but you, you can really you stick the, the plug in and it's very snug and tight. It's not going to accidentally fall out for you. And that's pretty much it. So plug, uh, volume. There you know the legacy. See the legacy in the background there. Um, microphone mic block or mic privacy and uh, video privacy. And there we are. For some reason we're not getting there. It's putting back. And then on the left side here, you're really not. The device is a lot heavier than you're probably expecting. It's a, it has some heft to it, but it really sits solidly on the desk. And uh, I'm gonna maybe do, do a little testing here and be back all right so we're back here uh, taking a look uh, you notice the screen is sideways and I'm not sure how we get it to what I was doing is testing you you can you can can have it in that um, position so uh, vertical or horizontal and uh, when I did it the other way, it switched. Yeah, there it's switching. So I just had to press the button. That's maybe, yeah. So there you can see uh, we're in we're in uh, horizontal. We can flip it, and it automatically switches there. It's an Android device, of course. Um, but really, the thing that is a little surprising, or the thing I'm I'm trying to get my head around here, is of course we have speakerphone, nice quality speaker. Um, we do have video and. And this device does do video. Uh, it uh, you have a privacy, like a mechanical privacy, for the video, and a mechanical privacy for the. Let me see if I can just switch this thing around here. So a mechanical privacy, like a slider for the mute. So it's it's not exactly you know, mute. You kind of imagine an easy push. This thing here is a you know snapping it to the side, um, and then your volume. Imagine that our, I'm not sure where the microphones are yet. Uh, the other thing, I think I said this before, but um, what I'm noticing is uh, 
the the power cord. Really, the only plug is power cord. There is no USB on this device. Touch screen, of course. And uh, I, I think the proportions on the Teams client are really nice. And uh, maybe I'll just call uh, something to give you a sense of what the audio sounds like. So we'll just call. I'm going to call Atlantis Technologies Contact Center Q, and uh, let's just switch this to speakerphone. Callers to experience the Atlantis Technologies Contact Center for Microsoft Teams, built using the native Microsoft Teams calling APIs. So you can find out more at AtlantisTechnologies.com/office365. Full sounds nice to me. After this, you can listen to music on hold, and when you're ready, just hang up. Your typical Thanks for calling controls. And we just have some music on hold so you can hear. And, and that volume I do have up against. I don't know if there's any other adjustment. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, so like I said before, speaker, plug, power plug, um, volume. Thanks for holding. You are first in line, and we will be with you shortly. Uh, microphone. Uh, privacy video privacy I think that is what you have and I'll just hang up here using our callback thank you for calling yeah your call will be returned when an yeah. agent is available so the Lenovo think smart uh, view uh, Microsoft teams uh, device so and it has it's getting its orientation right there but yeah um, really uh, very easy to set up very straightforward to set up, and uh, the and the box that comes in is I just show, of course you saw the little warranty paper there, um, but it really you, you don't really need much of an instruction to get it set up. Nice uh, box with a little you know it just comes pretty much power cord and the device. So yeah, Lenovo Think Smart, um, Lenovo Think Smart View.